Hi guys, in this video we're going to reveal the 13 passive income ideas that can make you $500 per day and how some of them made over $262,000 last year. More with that after the intro. Yo! Good morning guys, Mike Vasile here. Before we ask you to remind you, that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it is the fastest and easy way of modeling online. Check it out in the free workshop out below. Okay guys, let's break it down. The first one is Kindle Direct Publishing. This is for people that are writers. You could even get, get, you could even outsource it and have other writers do it for you. The coolest thing about this is you don't have to actually do any of the writing yourself. Uh, me, I got somebody else to even make my audiobooks for me. And as you can see, you know, this is kind of like what the back end looks like. You don't actually have to buy a bunch of the books. You don't have to do any of the shipping. You don't have to do the customer service. If someone goes and buys my eBooks, my audiobooks, my paperback books, I will just get a royalty from that. Now the beautiful thing about that is I literally know people that make $30,000 per month profit by literally just going up to Upwork, typing up writer, scrolling down to Philippines, hourly rate less than $10 an hour, and they literally get people from the Philippines to write like these crazy epic romantic comedy novels about like werewolves and, and vampires and that's exact, exactly the niche that makes them 30 grand per month profit. Like I said, you don't have to be the writer to actually do this. You make passive income, you get royalties from Amazon. Now the second thing is just starting a blog. Now this is my blog. This blog is pretty good because the coolest thing is it ranks on Google and the fact that if you don't have a blog, you're really missing out because Owning your content, like I'm making videos on YouTube, like I don't really own this content, YouTube's owned is it. You need to find a way to diversify by really just owning your traffic. Like I said, blogging, and when you own a blog, you own that. Think about it like in business. Would you rather own an apartment? Would you rather rent and live in it? It's the exact same thing. Right now I'm renting space on YouTube to make these videos. But the real money is when you actually diversify off of YouTube and start building other streams of people coming into your products and offers. Now the third way is selling affiliate products that are high ticket. Now this is an example here. You could see that there's products that are $2,500 and they will literally give you 50% of that. So if you do the math, how much does it really take to get $500 a day? That's 15 grand a month. If you get $2,000 per commission, you only need to sell, what, seven to actually make it? That's literally what happened to me. As you can see, we took a high ticket program and last year we did 262,000 in sales. Half of that was in net commissions. And as you can see, there was only this many transactions. There wasn't thousands of sales, it was literally just 375. If I do all time, you could even see the update of this as well. And you can see all the gross sales that came in with this exact product. Like I said, if you've seen this in the past, you know exactly what it is. Essentially, I invited people to a webinar from my mentors. My mentor was the one that did the selling. I didn't do any of the selling. They were the ones that did all the selling for me. And just like that, we would get 50% profits from that. Now the fourth one is ClickBank. You could come on ClickBank and do another very similar way to get passive stream of income. The coolest thing about this is you don't have to sell your own products. There's already all of these existing products on ClickBank that you could also go in and sell. And sometimes they're also available here, like some of this, this is a ClickBank product, this is a ClickBank product, anything with this um, like magnifying glass looking thing, those are all ClickBank products. You'd also, like I like finding my ClickBank products actually on here as opposed to just on ClickBank itself. But as you can see, you know, we are pulling in, I mean in the past seven days uh, from this one stream of income, $5,000 and then we got some refunds so then we netted about like 4,000 and the last deposit was about 2,000. So that's pretty cool, right? Passive income from there. Now the fifth one is a boring one, it's Airbnb. Like I live here in Bali and people actually own properties here. That one property will pull them like $100,000 a year in profit. Now that's ridiculous, that only happens in very touristy places. Of course right now it's being destroyed uh, because no one's actually visiting because the world is kind of like messed up right now. Uh, but as you guys can see, you know, it's, it's also a really good way to make passive income. There's people making six figures from it. On the side, part time, and just, just Airbnb your closet. My friend in uh, Vancouver, Airbnb his closet for like, like 50 bucks a day and people were actually staying in his closet in Vancouver for that money. He was literally paying his lease on the apartment with that idea. Now the sixth way is selling your knowledge on Teachable. Now I think everybody should have a course, right? The fact that if someone has ever asked you advice, you should at least package that into a course. It doesn't have to be expensive. Like my first course was $7, $7. But you know, the more people started asking me things, the more I was just like, okay, I'm tired of telling you the exact things that I've been telling everyone else, I'm just gonna go put it in a course. You know, if you sign up with Teachable, it's pretty, pretty affordable. And like I said, it's, it's the best passive income because you're able to duplicate yourself away from time. 
Like the, the thing that prevents people from making passive income is actively being in a job, trading their time away for money, clocking in, clocking out, your boss stamping a number on your forehead to tell you how much you're worth. With a course, you could literally put yourself on the interwebs and make money and give people value with you actually not having to trade your time for it. The seventh thing is the exact same thing on Udemy. The thing about Udemy is great because it's a search engine. It's like how same people are searching on YouTube or Amazon for the things that they want. People are going in here for like dating tips. Like if my love life was in shambles, like for example, back in like 2015 when the first love of my life in college destroyed my heart and I was like, oh my God, I will never find love again. I remember going on places like Udemy and Google and YouTube just finding dating tips and as you can see there's all these things that people are actually looking up and people are also making good amounts of money with Udemy just because people are actively searching for it now this is also the exact same thing on Skillshare and on other platforms where they host courses now when you start having money and you want to invest it, of course this isn't financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, consult a financial advisor because I'm not one I'm just some guy on the other side of the world with this dog that like sleeping on the bottom of this couch sharing to you all the things that I've learned, but Lending Club is a way where you could literally lend out your money and get a higher percentage than you would normally do in just like a regular savings account. I know friends that literally put a good portion of their portfolio into this, they make passive income because that's exactly how banks make passive income. They take your money because you park it there and then they lend it out and then they get a percentage off of it even though it's not their money, it's your money. Now the ninth thing is YouTube videos. Like my YouTube channel literally died. Like if I just go in the past like 90 days, you'll see just like how abysmic everything was. Like my entire YouTube channel died and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start making three videos a day uh, and then no one was looking at my videos and I was crying inside. I was like, oh, I'm not loved. But just as of recently, you could see it start going back up again. And same did also the revenue as well from like $30, $40, and then it started just growing higher and higher and higher and higher. And look, the $500 in it that we were talking about. Making YouTube videos is simple. You literally just like, boop, press record on your phone. You talk about what you love. And for some reason, people find you as long as you are passionate about the things that it is that you're sharing. Like, look at me. I'm literally just like showing a bunch of tabs, sharing you what I'm actually learning. And just like that, people are watching apparently. But if not, and no one watches, that's fine because I'll still just make more videos. And all I know is if I rank on the search engine, eventually people will come and find me. The 10th thing is investing in Vanguard index funds. Now this is one thing that if you've ever read the book, A Simple Plan to Wealth, I extremely recommend it. They essentially say that the investing doesn't have to be overcomplicated. Like you can literally invest in an index fund like VTSAX and uh, focus on an income generator and this is the thing that you could retire off. Of course, this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just some guy in Bali just sharing you what he read in a book. But it's exactly the plan that I'm doing that I failed to do in the past because I was so, I guess, uh, wanted the instant gratification and I threw all my index funds into crypto and it just burned a slow death. Do not burn a slow death and have smarter business decisions than investment decisions that I did. Now the 12th thing is the drop shipping model. So let me actually pull this up. This is essentially what the drop business, drop ship business model is. You have a customer, you sell something on your store, right? And then when your customer buys it, you take the $100 or the $200 and then you buy it from the supplier for 150. You never use your own money, you use your customer's money and then you pocket the profit. The supplier will then ship the project or the, the product out to the customer. And if the customer wants the refund, you don't get the refund or you don't get the, the product the supplier will deal with the refunds. That's one of the biggest things. How do I deal with returns? The supplier will deal with the returns. Uh, one easy way that I did when I first got started is I remember I was like selling like grill mats. So I would like go and buy a bunch of grill mats from China for like really, really cheap. As you can see, it's like a dollar, right? And I would sell it for $19. And I'd be like, hey, if you buy two uh, for $36, we'll give you four, right? So as you can see, my cost was like $4, but then I would pocket like 40 bucks. I literally hosted on my Shopify store, which as you can see, this is where a lot of people use their e-commerce, like Gymshark and all of those other big like t-shirt companies, Lululemon, they're all on Shopify, right? As you can see, it's only like $29 a month. You could get started with Shopify in literally like five minutes and you could just go ahead and start making passive income. And the last thing is just selling the space that you have in your car if you're not using it. Like for, with Turo, this is Turo right here. Safe car sharing while navigating COVID. I have a friend in Miami, he literally bought a Porsche and a BMW and he literally just rents it out on Turo and the amount of money that he makes for like Ontario literally pays for the lease or the the whatever of his car, right? Meaning he's essentially driving for free and getting other people to pay his luxury car, which is insane. It's passive income plus luxury. Like I said, rich people aren't 
rich because they're just rich. They're smart when it comes to their time and their money. And these are just 13 ways for you to actually make passive income, to quit your job, to travel around the world, to do what it is that you want. If you want a faster and easy way to make money online, check out the free workshop below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you also subscribe and check out all of the other podcasts and you'll see how all of this was exactly able to happen. With that being said, I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. You.